Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Warrior Weekly. I'm Benjamin Beasley. And I'm Parker Freeman. Thanks a lot for joining us this week for the latest in BHS news, sports, and entertainment. You may have noticed that a new mask, mask station has popped up by the main entrance of the school. Both cloth and paper masks are available. If you take a cloth mask, please recycle it by putting it in your backpack and reusing it the next day, or placing it, placing it in the recycling bucket on the table. You may throw away your paper masks when leaving the building at the end of the day. More stations will be set up at other entrances. Big news, the Christmas ball is returning this year, and it is just under a month away. Find a date or come with a group of friends. This year's ball will take place on Saturday, December 11th in the beautiful Gitche ZB Performing Arts Center. Please take note that if you are inviting another student from another school, you will need to fill out a form and return it to the main office. You can find the form in your daily announcements. Hey guys, welcome back to another banger video. And today, we're gonna be interviewing people on whether or not they like C-ball. Do you like C-ball? Yes or no? Yeah. It's a yes for me. It's a yes for him. What are your guys' thoughts on C-ball this year? Um, C-ball is typically pretty fun. Not really excited that it's at the high school instead of Craigans, but it is what it is. Oh yeah. you? I think it's really fun. I'm most if I can go with you. <laughs> you wanna go with me? Yeah, let's go. You wanna dance? Right now? Yeah. We're dancing. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we, we do a good a good C ball. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna come over to Lexi to interview people. Are you excited for Seaball? Yeah, I'm super pumped for Seaball. Right, Ready to bust a move on the dance floor and just have some fun out there. Are you excited for Seaball? Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm actually taking fun to Seaball. The landscape of BHS has changed dramatically with the new building additions and remodels. Another area that is being looked at for a facelift is the courtyard space that lies between the media center and the new art rooms. So with the construction of uh, the Brain Brainerd High School, it actually changed the configuration of the courtyard. And so a lot of stuff that was there got taken out. They took out all the trees, all the walking paths, and that's, those are things our students used quite a bit. And so we have this kind of blank slate opportunity that we're looking forward to making it a more usable and friendly space for students. So we're trying to get a lot of people involved in this. Um, we've interviewed a bunch of different groups. We've interviewed the art department. We're hoping to get the uh, agriculture and horticulture departments interviewed. Um, we've talked to administration. Uh, we're trying to get a lot of people involved because we want this to be a space that everyone's able to use and that has a little something uh, uh, for everyone to use. We started with, oh my gosh, the first meeting probably had like 30 kids, but we've settled down to more like a really solid group of 10. But we're always, it, people can always join at any time if they want to have some input. So uh, Wednesday wins in my room. So I usually call it like Anderson Science Courtyard Planning. Anybody can come. Trying to figure out what you want to do when you leave high school? Check out Mr. Balsley's win session in the coming weeks from where he will have guest speakers from many career areas. So far, he's had a tattoo artist, a real estate expert, and a lawyer. Speak to interested students. Coming up, I have someone from Mid-Minnesota Federal Credit Union coming in, and I also have Mike from Mike's Tree Service, who started his company right here at Brainerd High School. As we get closer to Thanksgiving, we were reminded to take a minute and think about what we are grateful for. Studies show if you practice the act of gratitude, you will become more positive, joyful, and content. The Sources of Strength program has placed a big old turkey on the wall by the cafeteria. Head on over, grab a feather, and write down what you're thankful for and stick it on the bird. It'll do you a bit of good. One way you can practice gratitude is by appreciating everything those great people working at the Warrior Outlet do for us. They offer up drinks, snacks, supplies, and of course popcorn. Let's give them a break. Hi, how can I help you? Hello. Popcorn. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Don't you think you could have been more polite? No. Even if you're in a hurry, you can still be polite while going to the Warrior Outlet. 
The women there are working very hard to get you what you need so that you can get to class on time. A great reminder to us all. Hey, we're going to take a short break right now, but stay with us. We'll be back with our Warrior Sports, our teacher feature with Mr. Fogdrude and this week's TGIT. Stick around. The Warrior Warehouse, located near the Warrior Outlet, is a resource for all students in need of supplies and food, including school materials, clothes, hygiene supplies, and more. Everything is free and everything is confidential. If you need something specific, requesting items is also an option. Contact Miss Wales or find the information page on your daily announcements to learn more. Interact Club is a, a student-led community service organization. Um, we run through the Rotary, and Rotary is um, an adult community service organization, so it's kind of like the high school version of Rotary. Um, basically, we just help out in our school and community. So not only do you gain leadership um, skills, um, you also help out in your community. So um, you can put that community service on job applications, college applications, um, and it also just makes you feel good, you know, helping out your community that you're a part of. Join the Interact Club today! Welcome back to the Warrior Weekly. The winter sports season is underway and very soon will be in full swing. The girls hockey team is off to a fast start with a couple of wins. The Flying Warriors opened its season with a win over Buffalo and notched another win, beating Moorhead 1-0 on Tuesday, November 16th. This is the first season with the new head coach, Tate Rusk, and so far, so good. We work really well on and off the ice together. We're more of like a family than a team, and I think that just makes you a lot better to make plays and be there for each other. So I think we're going to have a really successful season. We've been working really hard at pushing our goals every day, and I think we're going to make it to the state tournament. The Flying Warriors have games coming up this Friday, Saturday, and next Tuesday. Time once again to go on one-on-one -on -one with another BHS teacher. This week, we feature one of our great band teachers, Mr. Fogdrud. Honestly, I love all music, but if I had to pick, it has to be jazz. Like, jazz is just one of my passions. I think the weirdest one would have to be an Elkhorn, which is, I don't know, like if you have a, if you've seen the Ricola commercials from ancient history ago, it's a, it's a giant just tube horn that's like 26 feet long and yeah it's just got a mouthpiece and playing playing that is bizarre actually um, as far as I think I'd still be a teacher honestly I, I just I just love it so I if I wasn't a music teacher I'd probably be like a history teacher or if I'm not a history teacher, I was super into math in high school, actually. Like, on the math team, I got a plaque. Um, it would, and being from North Dakota, um, I, I do love the Dakotas, but I've had very few good experiences in South Dakota. So, I, but if you paid me a million dollars, I'd go to South Dakota. I would, I would make that sacrifice for a million dollars. I really would. No, simply because I don't think if aliens that were on a different planet, they probably couldn't get here in time because of time travel or because of how far away they are. So I think there might well be aliens, but they couldn't get to Earth because they're light years away. We finished this week's show with our TGIT segment. Hide and seek anyone? Let the crazy search begin. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
One quick mention, the Spanish Club will be meeting on Friday, November 19th to celebrate the Day of the Dead. The event starts at 3.30 in room A-124. It's your chance to learn about this holiday and do some fun crafts. Everyone is welcome. Be sure to check that out. That's it for us. Thanks for joining us and have a great week.